Unless you're an extremely attractive woman or actually know what you're talking about, it's very hard to keep someone's attention. So today, I'm gonna show you how to take any piece of content and make it watchable. Okay, so we're gonna be going over two effects in this video. First is using the 3D camera. This effect can be overwhelming at first, so we're gonna keep it super simple. So you're gonna need a background, a foreground, and then if you want, a second foreground. Here, we're just arranging our clips on how we want it to end. And then we're gonna select all that, turn it into a fusion clip, and then take that and take it to the fusion page. Here, we're pressing shift space, and then you're just gonna type in the following image plane, merge, and render and then add a camera and connect them all. I'd recommend just screenshotting this till you can remember it. Next step, select this little white thing on the merge node and we'll bring up a new camera window here. And here we're just dragging the camera back and then we're gonna start dragging out our foregrounds. So once you've done that, we're just gonna move our camera angle in and we're gonna keyframe it. So go to transform and then under Z keyframe it. Make sure you're on the first frame by the way and then drag it to where you want it to end about halfway for me and then I'm just gonna drag the camera out. The last step is to go to spline and select all this and press S. Second effect is keyframing. Once you know the basics of keyframing, you can pretty much animate anything. So here is what we will be creating. So first we're gonna animate this grid. So position how you want it to start and then press the keyframe and then move it to where you want it to end and then zoom in. So here, I'm just gonna press this thing and smooth it all out. And this is what it looks like. Now we're gonna grab our first guy and do the same thing, but we want him to come from the bottom up. So we're gonna position him how we want him to start, uh, keyframe it, move our timeline to where we want him to end and then position him there. And then again, we're just gonna smooth this out. Here's what it looks like. And then it's just a process of recreating that. So these guys, I have the clips underneath him because I want them in the background. And then for the text, same thing, just add some glow to it and then position it how you want it. All right, that pretty much wraps everything up. Feel free to drop a like and if you have any questions, drop a comment.